the Toronto Raptors' chances of being swept again by the Cleveland Cavaliers went down drastically with LeBron James joining the Los Angeles Lakers. For years, LeBron was the king of the East and maybe seeing the rise of the Philadelphia 76ers and the Boston Celtics as something that would threaten that claim. Or maybe the opportunity to play for an iconic franchise was too good of an opportunity to pass up. Whatever the reason is, it leaves the Raptors a fighting chance to try their luck once again but it doesn't mean that they're in the clear. The 76ers and Celtics are only going to get better which means that Toronto will have to make the necessary adjustments. As Eric Corrine of The Athletic notes, the Raptors are seen as the third best team in the conference. More from Tip of the Tower as Corrine notes, the Raptors could see themselves in a position to pay into the luxury tax for until 2020 where a lot of big contracts come off the books. It was clear that last was Toronto's best chance to make noise in the playoffs but they fell flat on their face because of LeBron. Corin believes that it might be easier to convince ownership to give the team the financial support for the short term and it's hard to argue against that. Sure the Celtics are going to get better but the Raptors should be able to keep up with them if they make the right addition. Maybe a team in the conference is willing to take one of the Raptors' bigger contracts in hopes of making a push for the playoffs. LeBron leaving is going to have a trickle-down effect in the East but to what extent is unknown. The Lakers will be an attractive spot for the big free agent targets still available which is why the Raptors' focus should be on using the mid-level exception, which is expected to be $5.29 million. If the team can use that to find a perimeter shooter or a quality defender and rely on the bench to take the next step, the Raptors could still be in good shape going into next. What your thoughts on LeBron leaving does that give the Raptors a shot in the East? Let us know in the comments below.